You see, the enemy has always been here. It's your uncle, your aunt, your father, your mother, your brother, your sister, your nephew, your nieces who belong to the fraternal orders collectively known as the mysteries. The very highest degrees of which combined together make up a secret order known as the Illuminati. Their goal is to destroy all existing religions save theirs, all existing governments save theirs, and shackle the mob in a system of eternal oppressive debt chained to a computer for the rest of their life in a propagandized world to make them believe that they are happy in this system. Now do you think they're succeeding? Yes. Haven't I described to you just now exactly what is going on in the world today? Yes, they're succeeding. They're succeeding because the American people don't understand their enemy. They don't even know what's happening. They want to create a world where everybody is happy all the time. Their whole purpose throughout history has been to teach a small number of people how to become adept at controlling everyone else. And presenting their societies as desirable to the profane so that you'll go knock on the door and say, hey, can I be a member and be initiated? With the promise of learning some great secret. What is that secret? The secret is what I have just told you this morning. The secret is how to control everybody else. And you never understand how to control everybody else until you get to the top of this pyramid of initiation. Most people never make it past the third step. All above that are carefully chosen and nurtured and taught. And Americans for all these years have been looking around for the enemy. They've never been able to find an enemy. So those who control them were able to control them even better by giving them an enemy. You don't even recognize half the weapons that they use against you. And some of them seem so insignificant that you don't even try. He was saying, he was laughing at you. And so was every other member of the Illuminati. You need to do some serious evaluating, some very serious checking out of agendas. You really want to take over the government and make it a theocracy? Because I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen if you do that. You're going to burn people at the stake who disagree with you. And if that happens, I'm going to have to take up arms all over again. And so will many of you because you're going to be persecuted. You see, because whichever one controls the government, you're going to have to conform to that teaching, and if you don't believe in it, you're a heretic. Do you understand what I'm talking about? What is our common bond truly? Freedom. Freedom. Without freedom, you can't be a Christian no matter what denomination you belong to. You can't be a Buddhist. You can't own a donut shop. You can't drive from here to Oregon. You can't be an American because that's what it's all about. And that's the only thing that it's all about. Nothing else. Nothing else. It's about freedom. Freedom. Only freedom. You have to let other people be free, even if they disagree with you. But I got something that you don't have. I have a free press. It's mine. And I get to say what I want. And I get to publish what I want and print what I want because it's mine. And I'm free. And it's my free press. This country is about freedom. Because only with freedom can you have all of the other things that everybody professes that they want. I had a tremendous admiration for the courage of those two communists who had the guts 
to walk up with their little communist sign and their communist flag. Two of them, young people, all alone in that sea of America, militia, uniformed patriots. And I saw people who wanted to kill them. You know, I don't like their philosophy. They're misled, misguided. Communism is a terrible thing. But they had guts. I had a great respect for them. And I believe in freedom. And you had better understand that. Because if you stop them from having their freedom to make their political statement, you have stopped yourself. You have stopped everyone. And that must never happen in this country. It must never happen in this country. Because if it does, there'll never be another congregation like this and you'll never hear me speak again because I'll be dead. And so will most of you. This country is about freedom. Because only with freedom can you have all of the other things that everybody professes that they want. You know what's wonderful about America? You can have a press. I have a press. How many of you have seen my newspaper? That newspaper is no joke. It makes congressmen cringe when they see it. It scares the hell out of the enemy. You too can have a radio show. I'm going to teach you how just here in just a couple of minutes. You too can publish books like this. I did it. The Harvest Trust is the trust for my children. I'm not rich. I don't have anything. You know how I financed this book? I sold copies before it was printed to people who believed enough in me to buy them. You don't really understand sometimes what a terrible burden it is to know some of the things that I know and try to wake people up and impart this knowledge to them and find out that they just have walls built in front of them. They want to be slaves. But we're making some chinks in those walls. You too can have a free press, and that's what it's going to take to get this country back without bloodshed. And I'm going to tell you right now, unless we can be successful in creating a real free press, where the American people get different viewpoints other than those expressed in the establishment controlled media, there's going to be a civil war in this country and it's going to come soon. The only thing that can stop it is by waking up vast amounts of sleeping people. Sheeple is what they are. They are following the Judas goat right into the shearing pins and from there they will go to the slaughter and they will not know that anything is wrong until they smell the blood of the sheeple in front of them. Anybody can publish a newsletter or a newspaper. Anybody. It is not expensive. It is not difficult. And everyone in this room should be doing it all across this country. And everybody that you come in contact with, you should encourage them to do it. And we should flood this nation with information. Not rumor. Not opinion. Not bullshit. Documented fact. Everything you print must be documented. If it's not, eventually people will stop reading your newsletter or your newspaper. Because all they have to do is check out a few things and find out it's not true and you're finished. You must publish only documented fact. And you must stay away from printing articles from people who will not document as fact what they put in their articles. That's why my broadcast scares the hell out of socialists. That's why in a White House memorandum, I was named as the most dangerous radio host in America, not because I'm going to go out and shoot somebody, but because I shoot documented facts which cannot be refuted. Anytime any system makes you dependent upon anybody or anything or any system, you are enslaved. Understand that. It doesn't have to be chains of iron. You don't have to be hanging up on a wall. You just have to be obligated. That's all it takes.
am on a mission, and that mission is to slap people upside the head and wake them up and even make them hate me if that's what it takes to get them to go examine what I'm telling them to find out that it's right. You see, I don't care how it's done as long as they wake up. And if I have to be the bad guy that they're going to hate for the rest of their life, that's okay with me if I wake them up. Those whom we disagree with as being evil people. The result of their actions we may perceive to be evil. We may perceive it to be bad. But I guarantee you those people don't see it that way. I hope you will broadcast the truth and not some agenda. You see, what happens when you broadcast the truth is you piss everybody off. 